Wells Fargo customers are still unable to access all of their account information today after a power outage cut online access yesterday. The company says the problem is fixed, but our Facebook page is filled with comments of customers saying that is not true. One post in particular stood out to 11 Lives, Elwin Lopez. Yeah, Cheryl, several people on our page say they can't access funds or see their balances. Jennifer says the bank's claim that the services have all been restored is false and it's taking a toll on her and her family. I'm supposed to have a automatic uh, deposit of over $2,000 right now, and I don't have that. And I'm not somebody who has a lot of money in the bank. I live paycheck to paycheck. Jennifer Lowenstein says her direct deposit isn't showing up in her Wells Fargo account. It really hurts me because the money that's coming into that, that's my main account and I have a mortgage that I need to pay. And she says she's not the only one who relies on those funds. My mom's on hospice, so I'm here taking care of her. I have two children. Um, my son is disabled. Um, my daughter's in high school, senior. So, you know, of course they need their things. Wells Fargo tweeted today, we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience. We know this has created difficulty for our customers and we are sorry to have let you down. Please reach out if you have concerns or need help today and ask for your understanding as our phone wait times may be longer than usual. An inconvenience Lowenstein says she can't afford. My phone was temporarily disconnected because I didn't have enough money to pay it. I had to go and ask somebody to borrow some money to get my phone back on. They told me that they'll have everything up and running soon that it shouldn't last very long. They did issue a statement on the mobile app saying that it was available and everything was fine, but it's not. If you're still having problems, we want to hear from you too on our Facebook page. Now, while Fargo admits that in the process of restoring its systems, some transactions and balances weren't visible, but the banks say any fees incurred because of this will be reversed. It's also extending hours by one hour at branches tonight and tomorrow. All right, sounds like there's a lot still to sort through there. Yeah, a whole lot there. Yeah.